Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm very excited to be bringing you the March and April 2024 catalog. Man, this thing's already been well loved. I've been pouring through every detail in this catalog. There's so many good ideas. And that's my friend Jima and her husband on the cover. How fun is that? They look like they're having an awesome time and I love how close to my heart has created this layout to showcase that photo. And I also have lots of card samples that I'll be sharing with you featuring new products from this catalog. Now primarily I share scrapbooking layouts here on my channel. Most of my videos are scrapbook layouts with some cards sprinkled in but I, when I get new products I love to just kind of play and let the creativity go and just see you know no rhyme or reason I'm not trying to make a scrapbook page or anything and oftentimes an embellishment cluster from a card can translate over to a scrapbook layout out very easily. Now I don't want to skip this page uh, because some of you are new and you may not have tuned into my previous catalog walkthroughs, but this is the same stamp set for a whole year. So you would have seen this in the prior few catalogs, but it is the, um, it's called Your Smile stamp set and $7 of the proceeds go directly to the Operation Smile charity where they are uh, performing life changing surgeries on children around the world born with cleft palate or cleft lip and so it's a really cute stamp set. I know my friend Melanie's recreated this page and she's also used this stamp very recently. Um, and in fact, I'll link her video down below and you can see how she has uh, used all of the elements on her layout. But yeah, it's so you can feel really good about that stamp. And it's something that is great for scrapbooking and it's kind of a title builder stamp. So you could say, um, you know, your smile brightens my world or I love your smile. You make me smile your smile warms my heart. So you can kind of switch it up a little bit and you can use those elements for cards also. But yeah, I like this fun layout they have on the example page here. So then we get into the cut aboves and I know I'm hearing a lot of uh, good feedback from my customers who are loving these. You kind of maybe glance over them at first, but then, um, it, you know, maybe pick up a kit on sale or something and realize how fun and easy they are to put together. You can build them exactly, you know, as you see, or you can kind of change them up to suit your photos and tell your story. So this, you, there's two layouts in the kit. You get everything you need to put these two double pages together and you can see they're super cute and they always have you know very usable titles like every day is a gift and that's cool so you know definitely titles that we can use to uh, tell the story behind our photos now we're getting into our very first uh, collection for spring this is the Honey Bunny paper collection and it's so cute. I really, really like it. I'm going to be using it primarily for Easter photos, but it's great for any springtime memories or even if you have like a little pet rabbit and you want to uh, document your little bunny, this would be so cute for that. I love the little bunnies. They remind me of Peter Rabbit, really. Um, and I'll be showing you some artwork uh, where I've used the little bunny stamps. So definitely springtime colors and you know, you've got the little bunnies for the Easter theme. And here's a look at the six different patterns that you get in the collection. There's coordinating cardstock. There are coordinating enamel dots. And what I love about these is you have graduated sizes. So the larger, medium, and small. There's a coordinating sticker sheet, which I'll show you more in detail here in a moment. And then you have the digital art collection where they have a layout provided for you. And there's a really cute background. So do you see it's like lattice work? You can cut that. And what's fun about these is you can drop them into your Cricut design space or silhouette and alter them. So maybe you don't want to create this whole layout. Maybe you just want the title or perhaps the background to use on a different project. So you can kind of pick and choose what you want to use. There's a couple different cards, Hoppy Easter, You Make Me Happy with, this is just a great, you know, springtime background, or you can change this 
a happy Easter and use a different, you could say happy spring or something and send out cards if you don't send out Easter cards. So there are coordinating stamp sets that go along with the paper collection. This is the Honey Bunny card making stamp and then the Honey Bunny scrapbooking stamp. And both of these you can get with thin cuts or without. I'm personally a fan of having the thin cuts. They just make things so easy. And then of course, even though they say scrapbooking or card making, you can use those interchangeably. But one thing I absolutely love about this is they've given you three bunnies. I love, you know, creating my embellishment clusters in, you know, groupings of odd numbers. And so when you have three different sizes and kind of different shapes facing different directions, it makes it a lot easier to work those into embellishment clusters. So I really appreciate that. And then there's some different title, you know, Easter and then happy. So you could say happy Easter or happy spring. Spring has sprung hopping down the bunny trail wouldn't that be cute in a cluster maybe stamp that on a circle and then have the little bunny sitting right next to the circle and then maybe a flower can you picture that it'd be really cute here is a card that I have created with this adorable little bunny. And doesn't he just look like a little Peter Rabbit? I've colored him in with colored pencils. I love using my Spectrum Noir markers, but my favorite brown marker, the lightest colors dry. And I'm waiting for my refill. So I went with the colored pencils, which I do like. And you can get some fun shading looks just by pressing a little fir more firmly and then a light hand in the areas you want lightened. So I put some lighter shading on his face and on his little paw where the sun might be facing in so it'd be hitting those areas and then the shadow is kind of on his back here where there would be a natural shadow from his body but I saw this idea several ideas on Pinterest where they made carrot wreaths so there's a little carrot here and then you've got the little topper so I stamped the carrot in intense black ink and then colored that in with my um, an orange spectrum noir marker and then I used jade ink to put the little carrot tops and you can see those enamel dots that coordinate with this collection I just kind of sprinkled those around the wreath and this pattern paper here is from the current mix-in collection so we'll be getting to that soon and then I'll show you where the hello friend sentiment is from but isn't he cute I just think he's so cute. Very simple card, fun to create. I had this little orange twine in my stash. I got a whole bulk pack of twine years ago at Michael's and I wish I could find more of it because it was just so handy to have all the, the different colors. But yeah, so there's one of the cards in action and let me show you some more. Here's a slimline card I created featuring the little bunny that's hopping. And it's kind of funny. I asked my, I made a bunch of cards and asked my husband, like, which one's your favorite? And he's like, well, this little guy looks sad and this one looks really happy. So I like this one. And I'm like, what? why do they look sad? They kind of have the same expression. And it was the position of the ears that was giving him that vibe. So apparently all lop-eared rabbits must look sad to my husband. I thought it was funny. I'm like, okay. But these are eggs from an upcoming stamp set. But I wanted to show you this little guy here, again, colored with the colored pencils. I did add a little um, stickles. Can you see the moon dust sparkle on his tail? I'm trying, there it is. And catch the light there. And then I added a little pink to the inside of his ear and pink to his cheek. Again, all with colored pencils. Now, this is funny story. The uh, I flipped my panel upside down to put my adhes adhesive tape runner on it. And I was working on my all-purpose mat and it had yellow ink on it, the honey butter ink. So when I flipped it back over, there was ink and there was pink ink over here. I was able to hide the pink ink with my embellishments, but I had to either trash the panel or embrace it. So I just took my blending brush and added more. And I actually like how that turned out. But these eggs are really cute. I've got more ideas featuring those. Again, paper from the mix-in collection. And I'll show you where this sentiment came from when we get to that stamp set. But yeah, just a simple card, really fun for springtime. Now let's go back to the digital art collection because this next card really features uh, elements from this. So here's another slimline. This is my favorite. In fact, I should show you this one first because, you know, save the best for last, right? So this one here, I have created this border in Cricut Design Space. Now I would love to share my Cricut files with you, but when you, you can't, 
share SVGs because these are something that I've downloaded in my computer and I've uploaded and you'd be able to open it, but you wouldn't be able to create it even if you owned the same digital collection. So if you want to see how I did that, I can always share a tutorial. So let me know. But what I did is the grass came from a different collection that I had already purchased, but there's lots of grass images on in Cricut Design Space. So I used print and cut. And do you see these flowers here? There's all these little flowers. I took this collection of flowers and then I arranged them so that they were balanced and I kind of tried to go, you know, every other color and repeating, you know, well, I'll save all the details for when, if I share the tutorial. But I print and cut this image out and it made, you know, creating these cards so easy. The background is from the Mixin collection also and I thought it was so cute. You could put a sentiment up here, but I almost didn't want to cover the background. So I left that open. I wanted to show you what the little border looks like before it's adhered to a card. So I uh, just have a bunch of these and then you can just layer them over. And you'll notice on this one, I cut out some of the flowers because I didn't want it completely covering that smaller little baby bunny. So I just uh, snipped a few out with my micro tip scissors and made some adjustments for my embellishments. But yeah, these are really fun. And I just have an Epson, you know, kind of all in one type printer. I'll leave which one I have down below, but it, you can, I've shared print and cut tutorials here on my channel before, so I can link those all also if you want to see how I create that. But this card, I just love it because of the shimmer trim here. Close to my heart, let me grab it. it has a bunch of shimmer trim. This one is the lemon color and it's adhesive backed glitter paper. So it's a little bit more flexible than like a, a sheet of 12 by 12 glitter paper, but you just uh, peel it off and add it to your projects and it has that adhesive back. And a little tip for you, when you leave a little bit of the plastic tail, because that is going to make a just huge difference in peeling this off. So when you cut it, don't cut you know, both layers at once because then you're going to have flush layers and it's a little bit hard to peel. So just, you know, get that started and then always keep a little bit of a tail and you'll thank yourself later. So again, I just tucked in one of those. I removed the flower to accommodate this bunny. There's that egg again. And uh, again, we'll get to those stamp sets, but you can see the different looks. These are, this one's stamped on flamingo cardstock, and this one is flamingo ink on a white background. And then I just added the little bunnies from this collection too. So what I did, well, I'll, <laughs> I'll save that for the tutorial so you can see how I got the two different sizes facing the different way. But the digital collections are really fun because you could put this on a scrapbook layout. This could create a little scene. You could have this be a border across your page, your little bunny cluster, and then a photo block above it with your title. So lots of different things you can do with these images. Okay, moving on. We don't want to spend too much time. We've got lots of good stuff to see. So once we get past the stamps, we move into the Honey Bunny uh, workshop collection. This is a scrapbooking workshop. So you can get just the paper and sticker sheet, or you could get a whole workshop which has bonus pattern papers and different elements. And I will give you a closer look at that and show you what comes all in the workshop collection. But these are the layouts you can create. They've given you all the supplies you need to recreate these layouts. And they're both uh, or three double page 12 by 12 layouts. So let's take a closer look at these. Anything that has a banner I think is super cute. So you've got that. And then here it's not Easter or spring at all. They've documented a trip to what looks like the zoo and they're feeding some giraffes. So, you know, think beyond the obvious theme. I'm always saying that here on my channel because I like to use paper packs for things outside of their intended uh, or obvious uh, theme. This, they've done a beach with a cloud paper in the background. They've done a beach uh, layout here and it works really, really well. You know, the soft colors really complement the photos and there's just butterflies and, you know, butterflies can be good for just about anything. So beach and then actual Easter or a trip to the zoo. So, so many different possibilities, you know, just looking at the colors in the paper. So let's go ahead and take a look at the actual um, workshop and see what's inside. 
I did get the workshop option because it comes with extra die cuts, extra pattern paper. So you get these uh, honey bunny little dots that come with it. And then there is the scrapbooking workshop instructions where you can make the three double page layouts and they're pretty darn cute. So you can see the different uh, layouts there. And then if you don't have your pictures right away, you can use the photo place card holders and just put the layouts together and add your pictures later. You can use these to mat your photo. You can do different things with those. This is the 12 by 12 sticker sheet. I think these little bunnies are so cute. I love the egg border strip stickers up there. Oh, happy day, Easter blessings, hippity hoppity Easter is on the way, going hunting, hooray for spring, and then I love banners, they're so cute. So you can do little, you know, different types of banners there, great little word sentiment stickers, so those are really fun. And then the pattern paper here, so let me kind of separate these out. These are the extra that come with the kit, and then this is the pattern paper here. So. They are double-sided. You've got the spring florals on one side and then the cute little bunnies are on the opposite side of this one. And then this one here is uh, the honey butter with the polka dots. The back side is this, uh, let's see, that is peach with a little white design on there. So you got two, you know, if, if you don't like one side, you always have the other side to work with, but you got lots of options. And then we have kind of this like painterly watercolor plaid. Look at the branding strip on that one. I just think these bunnies are the cutest. I love the bunnies. And then these cute little whimsical butterflies on the opposite side of that. So yeah, I think these are really pretty. I love the colors. And then let's take a look at the, oops, random piece of tape there take a look at the extra pieces so you get all the cardstock that you need to create the pre-designed layouts so this is there's a good amount of cardstock in coordinating colors and then bonus die cuts that you just pop out and they also have that kind of painterly watercolor look so some doilies and scalloped edges stars life is good sunny days more little banner pieces, just cute things to embellish your projects with. And then one of those layouts had a circular element, so they just, you have that there. So you can use the frame or you can use the inside circle. Let's see how they've done it here. It looks like they've used the frame there, but then you could always use that other circle. Maybe they've done that here. I'm not sure. I haven't looked closely at it. I'm discovering it with you also. So that must be, you could use the backside for that project and then the frame is for project three if you're following along exactly and then this is just a pretty background so these are the bonus papers you get two of those can you see kind of that very light brushed peachy color there and then oh how pretty a cloud more cloud paper i'm loving all the cloud paper it's i think it's just you can get some fun whimsical looks with the cloud papers so this one's more kind of realistic some of the other clouds are kind of tiny little fluffy white clouds but yeah i think that's really pretty so oh, more cardstock let's put that back with the other cardstock here but yeah lots of fun i do have tons of easter pictures so i will be using this to document those the collections always have a card making workshop and this is the honey buddy cards that you can create if you want to create those exactly you have four different designs and you make four of each so they give you everything you need all the supplies the card bases for a2 and slimline you get an exclusive stamp set uh, pattern paper and the card stock so there's even the die cuts that go along with the stamp and some silver gems here and all you, you would need your own ink and adhesive. But other than that, everything is there to create these as shown. I always like to kind of do my own thing. But the only way to get the stamp and die set is with the card kit. And the butterflies have these detailing in their wings that I think is really cool. Do you see the little swirly stitchy pattern? And then you can layer them. So there's two sizes. And it says, you know, you do have to have a die cutting machine for the thin cuts. So keep that in mind. But you could, you know, do different colors as they've done here. And they've, a Close to My Heart cardstock is two toned. So they've used both sides of the cardstock to give that little variation in color. 
And you could think how pretty glitter paper would be. If you want to pull some glitter paper from your stash and add some little glittery butterflies, I think that would be really pretty. So cute cards, they give you the guide to make those exactly, the cutting guide. So it's like following a cookbook. All right. Now I've given a sneak peek here earlier on my channel using some of these products, but this is the Let's Go Anywhere collection. I'm so excited, mainly because, well, it's awesome. I love the masculine colors, but I have some, you know, travel photos, quite a few travel photos that I have been working on. And this goes along beautifully with a color scheme I've already been, you know, working on for my Alaska layouts. So this is the same collection you see with Jema and her husband here on the cover. And I just, I'm super excited about it. Great masculine papers too. For, I know a lot of, I hear a lot of you say that it's, you know, the masculine colors are not as common as some of the, you know, brighter, more floral type prints that we see a lot of. I did recreate this card that they have here. I left off the little cluster here because I've already used that red arrow. That's from the sticker sheet. I used it for another project already. But yeah, I love how this one turned out. And I used a shortbread cardstock and I stamped the arrows in shortbread ink. And I would rather have done toffee. I think that's what they did because toffee would have shown up a little bit better. I did on another card. I kind of created a little offshoot of that one. And you can see the toffee does pop a lot better against the background. Of course, that's vanilla, but still toffee would stand out better than uh, shortbread, which is tone on tone. I made a few, you know, changes. I had these little paperboard arrow shapes, chevrons in my stash. So I wanted to use those. And I just really like this card. You mean the world to me. You can send this to anyone and just to kind of brighten their day, let them know that you appreciate them in your life. And the they used pattern paper in the background from the collection, and I have used periwinkle and then inked up the edges in sapphire to give it a deeper intensity because I wanted to save that pattern paper for my scrapbook layout. But yeah, so that's what that looks like. I didn't recreate that one, but I think I will because it's cute. And then this is a sneak peek of, a, of more stamp sets to come. And another sentiment, you make the world better. Again, just a really nice card you can send to anyone and let them know you appreciate them. So we see this scrapbook collection on the next page, sticker sheet, the pattern papers, again, coordinating cardstock. They have die cuts, which are those paperboard shapes in both kind of the craft color and black. Love it. Away we go. World of wonder, adventure. Let's go. Enjoy the journey. So many great things, title options or subtitles, and then all of the fun shapes. So I did pick up those and I'm, I'm already spoiler alert here. I got a paper pack and sticker sheet and I got the workshop for this one because like I said, I'm working on my Alaska layout and we have some more trips coming up. So I've already put this to good use. And if you're not already a subscriber, click that subscribe button. My next video coming out is gonna be a layout featuring this collection. So just like the Honey Bunny, we have the digital art collection. And I do use some elements from this on my layout, but there is a double page layout, which I actually really, really love. And I might recreate that. So if I do, I will show you guys the process because undoubtedly I'll make some changes to accommodate my photo and I'll capture that and share it with you. So you can kind of see how the digital designs, how easy they are to switch up. But cute little suitcase, you've got your geotags, more titles, go see, do see the world and let's go anywhere passport globe airplanes lots of fun little different things in there we have the stamp sets on the next page so this is the let's go anywhere card making stamp and that's where that little um, heart came from here you can see the globe is on the scrapbooking stamp and I like it. I think it's, I don't have anything like that in my stash where you have the globe or the map of the world in a heart shape. I think that's really neat. So the sentiments did come from this one. You make the world better. Happy birthday. You mean the world to me. Um, and then this one, welcome to the, welcome to the world, little wonder. So if it's like a, um, a card you want to send to a little boy or girl, um, or their parents, obviously, <laughs> just welcoming the new baby into 
this world, that would be a great sentiment for that. Or if you're doing a scrapbook page of a new baby, this would be a great little subtitle or title element on a layout. So don't, you know, think of it as just for cards. I would absolutely put that on a scrapbook layout in a fancy little stitched bracket or something. I think it would look so good. And you could even layer it over the heart for your title. So I'm already picturing it. See how they have like an L shape around the photo here? You'd have the photo of the baby, put this in the lower left corner, and then have your little title overlapping the heart kind of coming underneath the photo in an L shape. It'd be super cute. So they also have these little swirlies. Now there is a pattern paper in the uh, paper collection that has the already on the background, but you could recreate your own, which they've done in a couple, you'll see it here. See how they've stamped the shortbread paper with toffee ink and made their own pattern paper using this one. So you've got the airplane creating this nice circular pattern. There's a heart and it says, let's go anywhere. So you could do that also with this one here. And then these little arrows make great B trails. I'll show you another card when I get there. Actually, let me grab it. Now I stamped them in pebble ink, so I don't know if you can see them. Let me get that in focus there. Ah, it's not focusing. Do you see how I've used the little arrow with the swirly for the, the little B trail on that one? I thought it was kind of fun and there's another one there. So yeah, just another way you can get more use out of the stamp set. It does have the arrow, so I put the little bee stinger on there. And if you wanted to use a bigger one, you could easily cover the airplane with a butterfly or a bee to use this heart swirly pattern for a little bee trail. So that'd be really cute to incorporate into your springtime pages and again, just get more use from your stamp sets. So this one, this title, I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list. I absolutely love it. Adventure awaits. I'm out of here. Bon voyage. Let's go and see the world. So they have used a lot of these to create some word sentiment stickers, which I'm always going on about when I'm creating. I always love to add little word sentiment stickers uh, to or phrases to my uh, pages. So you can see how they've mixed them with the stickers. So they've made some with the stamps and some with the stickers from the coordinating sticker sheet. This is really cute. And you could add two photos. You could easily do this background and add two photos or one photo with two horizontal photos here to create that and just bump this over. It'd be really cute. In fact, I might do that. But we've got a passport, suitcase, you know, more little geotags, the globe, and I've stamped that with mocha ink onto uh, shortbread paper and then inked it up with toffee. And I did darken the edge with my marker just to give that a little bit more definition for the base and the part that holds the globe there. On the next page, you have the workshop for this Let's Go Anywhere scrapbooking collection. And here are the layouts, the three different layouts. So again, they have used them for different things that aren't necessarily, I mean, I guess going to a zoo would still be travel, but you don't have to think these big grand, you know, traveling abroad, you know, you can use them for just little trips. And this one here, they're, they've gone and they're feeding the elephants. And then here, it looks like they're on a boat. So they've documented some pictures going out on a boat trip and collect memories is one of the uh, sent or stickers from the titles on the sticker sheet. And I love it. Travel with me and just some different snapshots here. They've, let's see, where did they get that one? I wonder if they, that must be a sticker. We'll have to get the sticker sheet out and check that out. But what's really was a selling point for me for the, I don't always get the workshop. It kind of depends on the bonus pieces. Now there's not, there is some papers I'll show you. There's not a lot of die cuts in here. Sometimes you'll get a whole sheet, whole sheet of punch out uh, die cuts. This one really just has the die cuts to create this. There's like an overlay and then the shape, the co different color zigzags that you put under it. But there's a stamp set in this that is a background and texture stamp that's a map. And I was kind of like, okay, I really need to have that. Let me go ahead and pull that paper pack in so we can check that out in closer detail. So we'll just take a look first at the paper pack and sticker sheets. So you can see that collect memories, that title they used on the layout 
Adventure, another great title. And then you could say Adventure is Waiting by putting this over, which is what they've done here. So even if you're doing your own thing, which I am, I'm not following these layouts exactly, um, you can get little ideas. So see how they put the is waiting over the adventure sticker? So that's really cute. Here they've used that map background and texture stamp to stamp behind the title. So you could just kind of pull those ideas and incorporate them into your layouts. But we've got some tags. It's kind of like a little luggage tag there, passport. And then here's all those word stickers that I'm always, you know, excited to have. This is like a, a hotel key. And it's kind of funny because we went to the Glacier Bay Lodge and we had, because oftentimes they're cards now, right? And it's rare that you get a key, but we did at the Glacier Bay Lodge. They had a key and it was on a big old tag like that. So I'm going to use that for those layouts. Love this one here. Let's go anywhere. Oh yeah, there's that sticker there that I was trying to figure out where it came from. They've used it here. It's off of the sticker sheet here. So let's check out the paper, pattern paper here. This is my one of my favorites. I just love it. I love green and this is, let's see, the colors in here are black, charcoal, French vanilla, jade, linen, mink, periwinkle, pine, sapphire, scarlet, shortbread, and toffee. So those are, it's nice to have things coordinating because the pattern, the pattern paper is going to be the same colors as their cardstock and then even inks. So these are the two different sides of this particular pattern paper. This one almost looks like a periwinkle background with a little tiny dotted stitching line of the sapphire. And then look at how cute that branding strip is too with the little geotags. The next pattern paper is a really nice kind of plaid with there's the branding strip are little globes and the opposite side of this one is that it's mink background with the little swirly airplanes on there so even though french vanilla is a coordinating color you can still pair this with white and it works well but you can see like these being a great masculine you know i've got two teenage boys so i'm always looking for you know, masculine papers to document them. And these are perfect. These really would jive well with the type of photos I take of my boys. So you get two of each. So if you didn't want to use one side, you always had the other side. And then you have the passport paper. And on the opposite side are all these cute little travel icons. So you may be looking at this thinking that's a bit busy for me, but I always say, you know, use it in small sections if you are overwhelmed by a pattern paper and you're gonna see that it's not so busy after all when you kind of dose it down and balance it out with some of the more uh, subtle patterns. And you'll see some different artwork ideas like if in the catalog, they just use a strip of this paper here and the passport paper looks great. And they probably weren't even in a place where you needed to travel with passports, but it's still like a travel themed, you know, icon that we associate with it. And of course, if you don't have your real ID, you're gonna need a passport even to travel in the States. So there's always that. <laughs> Let me set these aside here. Let's put that one on top because it's my favorite and I just like it, makes me happy. Now, as far as the workshop goes, you do get some bonus pattern papers. This is one in like the craft color with the tiny little stitching grid of the white over the top. You get two of those. Now these are not double-sided because they're designed to go along with the layouts and you wouldn't need a different pattern on the back. And then we have this nice neutral pattern with dots. So that's the vanilla with sapphire blue dots. And then there's lots of coordinating cardstock you'd need to create those layouts. The workshop does come with a little tiny uh, sampling of the paperboard shapes and the black and craft color. So you get these. This one says wonder and joy. <clears throat> There's some stars, arrows, planes, little stitching kind of X's there. And there's also the die cuts that go along with this collection you can purchase separately. And I've already used a few of these, but they pop right out. So you can see there's a little plane and they're nice and thick, but not too much bulk or dimension. So different, again, those titles, Away We Go, Enjoy the Journey, Planes, World of Wonder. I know it's hard to see. Lots of different arrows, which you know I love using arrows. But yeah, the Let's Go, that's a nice size for a title. Oh, or Away We Go. Yeah, love it. Lots of good stuff here. So you do get those directions if you want to uh, 
cut all these out and follow exactly and they tell you what paper and they give you the dimensions so it's just again like following a recipe and then these are like the little punch outs so you can see they punch out very easily so, you know I know sometimes we get punch outs and they're a pain to pop out but these do come out easily so you would just take the overlay here and back it with your chevrons I've got my red one missing here oh here it is and they tell you what project they go with so the project one and you would just back it behind those so those are going to be fun to create with let me set this aside here now I absolutely did get the card making workshop because of the stamp and die cuts. Uh, this is awesome and I've already used this. If you've been watching my channel, you may have caught my travel layout I did where we went to the uh, Devil's Tower and I used this. On, in fact, I'll bring the layout in so you can see it. But here are the cards and I did think that uh, a lot of these are really cute and I wanted to create some. So I changed the sentiment here. So I created this card almost exactly and they always look so much better when you put them together now I like a white border around my edge so this one goes flush but I did cut it a little bit smaller and have that around the edge and then I added some sanding to the cardstock to reveal that white course so I just took a nail file kind of roughed up the edges I did have this compass also added some twine from my stash and a little brad can you see the brad on the top of that this makes a pocket watch too so they give you the um, well you can see it here it says uh, it's time to celebrate you so rather than a compass you can use that to create a watch so I think that's really neat that they added that element because you can get you know so much more usage out of it but a compass goes well on any travel themed page I think but I thought it'd be fun to have some cards to make for my husband so you are my true north I'll just you know this can be in any occasion card or even like a happy anniversary so on the inside I haven't but you could uh, stamp happy anniversary and this would be a great masculine card for your hubby so yeah I like it so you would be able to create uh, four of each of those designs and you can change up the sentiment so maybe you want this to say happy birthday or something like that you definitely could here's a card I created that isn't one of these patterns and I have shared this I went it was around Christmas time I made a whole bunch of this type of fun fold card and decorated the front panel and I do have a video uh, showing exactly how to make these cards so I will have that listed in the description box below but this is all supplies from this uh, particular workshop kit so I've doubled up they've done that here where they have doubled up they cut two of the little compass stars in different colors and kind of offset them and layered them so I did that I thought that was cute and then the arrows you can stamp those on a strip of paper and make a little border strip I did have some sapphire blue dots from my um, stash so I added those but you can still get the blue dots to go along with this and I have used the actually the adventure weights comes from the scrapbooking stamp and I thought this would be a fun card where is it here so adventure awaits I opted with that or went with that sentiment because I thought this would be great for a retirement card and you could stamp congratulations on your retirement on the inside or if you have you know a, a college age student just graduating college maybe they're going to take a big trip wouldn't this be a fun card to just kind of send them off with and you can tuck in a little spending money for them um, and off they go on to their adventure i think that would be fun so you know i know my boys would appreciate that little surprise but yeah i thought this would be great for like i said retirement or things of that nature and again you could you know change it up and stamp a different sentiment to make it more you know birthday or whatever you might want to add there so yes yeah, super cute let me grab that scrapbook layout this is the devil's tower layout i created very recently with the sweet memories collection but you can see the stamp set here in action so Let's go back to the card kit and the with the compass and here I've used it and tucked in a few pine sprigs and then there's the let's explore together so I just created this L-shaped embellishment cluster and used this card making workshop 
to document this travel layout. So, um, you know, definitely something that translates onto scrapbook pages quite well. And I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of this little compass. I think it's just really fun, and especially how you can make it like an old-fashioned pocket watch. But yeah, I just wanted to show you that. You probably saw this video, but in case you didn't, there is an example of it on a scrapbook page. All right, moving on, we are going to be getting into the stamp sets, but first we have the Mixin Paper Collection, and these are designed to coordinate with the collections we just looked at. So you can see colors that are featured in the Honey Bunny, and then also in the Travel Collection, Away We Go, and I'm just loving the cloud paper. That, let me actually show you this in close-up so you can see the papers in more detail. Here's a closer look at the mix-in. So we've got the periwinkle background with cute little white hearts. The opposite side is a periwinkle and white gingham. Then you have another periwinkle with a little kind of diamond pattern. And the opposite side, that looks like Seabrook with little stars. And then Seabrook with kind of wonky polka dots there. Those are cute. The opposite side, more clouds. See, those are kind of more fun and whimsical type clouds, I think. And then this is sage with little leaves on the pattern. Sage again with a different pattern on the backside. Then you have, this looks like a shortbread background with the little honey butter suns. Super cute for a springtime page. The opposite side is sage with a decorative white stripe going down. More honey butter on a diagonal stripe and then more honey butter with a different pattern. So yeah, great usable patterns. Those are gonna look so nice with the other collections. Now we get to check out all of the fun stamps and thin cut sets they have in store for us. So I always like looking at this page for inspiration and it's just kind of bright and fun and happy. And uh, you get ideas for cards or scrapbook layouts. You even have a cute little bookmark here, very fun. So at first, and then you'll see examples too, like this is one of the or papers from the mix-in collection. So you'll see those sprinkled out and again, just great ideas. And you know what, before I forget, I always forget to mention this, Close to My Heart will give you a catalog for free with your order, any size order. Um, just make sure you add it before you check out, but they are a great idea, you know, source of inspiration for ideas, ways to use the products and just to kind of have on hand. So don't forget to uh, add that to your cart and then you can also see it online so I will have that linked in the description box below now this one won't will not be live until March 1st so just keep that in mind if you click that link before March 1st it'll take you to the current January February catalog but I do want to point out that little cute carrot card I showed you in the beginning with the hello friend sentiment that is from this stamp set and this is called spring has sprung and it's a collection of sentiments that are really cute for springtime but really beautiful memories hello friend uh, sunshine makes me happy see the beauty in everyday things that would be something I would stamp and put on a scrapbook layout as like a little word sentiment springtime is here great uh, title for a spring page Fresh start, bring on the sunshine, bloom and grow where you are planted. So great to me, scrapbooking related uh, sentiments, even though I've used it on a card here uh, and colored it in. So the hello is an outline. And then I like it when they mix fonts like that. And so you can just color in the hello part to coordinate with your card. So that came from this one. And then this is called in springtime and every single one of these has a thin cut if you get the thin cuts that makes me happy but let me bring in where's my little bug card i've got like a pile of cards over here oh here it is so the little bugs came from this uh in springtime and i'll also be showing some ideas with the boots and umbrella but yeah i've added the little snail actually the snail comes from the gnomes for spring collection um, but here's a sentiment idea for I showed you that card where I didn't add a sentiment, but I just stamped that on a banner and note the little stitching detail. I'll show you where that came from here in a moment, but you could easily put a banner or even stamp right on the paper there. So just an idea of what you could do. You see the composition of this card's very similar. I've got the eggs on the left and the bunnies on the left with your horizontal line of the flowers and grasses there. But aren't those little bees cute? 
Here is a card I have created using elements from this stamp set. You can see the clouds. I used black ink on white daisy paper and just die cut those out and then the umbrella and you'll notice I've done some paper piecing. So the papers are all from the mix-in papers, the background. I've matted it on sapphire and then I wanted the pop of bright yellow to add some cheer to this card to hopefully brighten someone's day. The sentiment is from my stash. I, you know, found one that I thought went well with the theme. The sequins are from a retired Bluebell sequins collection, but if there are still available, of course, I'll leave those listed. But the paper pacing technique is such a fun way to add color to your stamped images. So I stamped it once on white daisies. That's how we have this white outline used a marker to color the handle, and then I stamped it again on pattern paper and then cut directly along the line and adhered it over the background. So you could stamp it on once on pattern paper and then everything would be the same pattern and it still looks really cute. Or they're outline stamps, so you could color these with your markers or your um, you know, colored pencils or something like that. So this is just a fun way to color those images quickly. And even though you're stamping it and fussy cutting the inner image, it has such a nice finished result. I love paper piecing like this. So I thought that that was a cute idea. Uh, there's that same stitching banner there. So that's an upcoming die set. And notice how these are two different lengths. This one's longer and then this one's shorter. I'll explain that in just a moment. Actually, I'll leave that in here while we look at more from this stamp set. This is another one I created. Again, we've got the mix-in papers. I've done the paper piecing for the umbrella, and there's those cute little polka dot boots. I've just colored those in with my Spectrum Noir markers. Now, the tulips are from the Gnomes for Spring scrapbooking stamp. So Gnomes for Spring is a collection out right now. I just recently created a little uh, layout of my dog and I on a beautiful spring day, and it's just bright and fun, and it kind of plays a Along nicely with all of these products but there's the little tulips there and they do have a thin cut so I just cut those out and then you can see there's that little snail that I added to this card with the bees and that's where that little guy comes from but I love this stamp because of the titles especially this one the story of today that can go on darn near any scrapbook layout that you are <laughs> documenting so I really like that and then spring is sprung and full of life and then you have these cute little icons and I love the kite too but this one just kind of makes me happy with the bright pink and yellow and, and blues and you could make this a birthday card again just you know change up the sentiments to make them work for you yay for spring is from a stamp set that's coming up and we'll take a look at that here in just a moment I've got more stamps on the next page here. Now this one I absolutely love and I don't have any cards to share with you. I don't know why I didn't, uh, I just ran out of time, but this is one of my favorites. I think these bunnies are so dang cute. And here they've just done two and it lends itself really well. They've trimmed off that outer bunny can you see how they've done that? So it gave it a little bit of a varied look and it wasn't a, an exact replica and layered them like that. And I just think they're really, really, really cute. So I will be creating with those. So stay tuned. I'll be sharing artwork on my, um, you know, Instagram page uh, soon featuring those little guys because they're adorable. This would make a really great title for Easter Sunday. And well, they've done it here. I love adding circular elements to your layouts. I just think that they are a nice complement to all of the square lines. And I love that. It's very, very pretty. You can color the flowers to match. And then the little bunnies, so these are different stamp sets, have some nice sentiments, have a lovely Easter, Thankful for friends, hello spring, and warm and fuzzy hugs. So that those would be nice uh, uh, card titles to sentiments. Now this one here is called Because of Easter. And I, di I did get this one also, and I love the sentiment. Because of Easter, there is triumphant hope. There is abundant life. There is victory. And I like these images. I do document a lot of Easter photos because we host Easter and there's always a ton of pictures. But I also uh, do a little Bible journaling, and I think these will be really nice to add to that. I love the cross, love the dove, and this element here with the cross on the hill with the sun. Now, I'm not super crazy about how we have a faceless Jesus. 
just my opinion. Maybe if you're handy, you can draw in a face, but here they're showing uh, lots of layering with the sun element behind uh, the image of Jesus, and I do think that looks nice. Here they've done some ink blending and stenciling behind the cross, and this is designed where you have layers, which I really think is neat. So you can see they've popped it up, so you stamp and die cut this one, and then you can stamp or die cut this one out, pop it up with some foam tape and put it over the top there and get a really cool look with the different layers. So I really like that feature of how they layer like that. Here is that adorable egg stamp. So we've got a couple different stamps and they've given you lots of ideas to use them. And what really drew me to this one was the row of birdhouses and the potted plants. I do a lot of gardening. I love birdhouses. My mom loves birdhouses. So I thought that I would get a lot of use out of those two borders um, specifically. And I like how they have it on the card here. But again, you could make that a scrapbook layout. So picture, uh, you know, that picture a couple photos and then you know how I'm always putting like a, an anchor under my photos something for my photos to sit on so that would be really cute kind of going across the bottom there or even hanging from the top of a page a springtime or a garden page um, my kids made birdhouses for their grandma ma when they were little and I know my brother's kids have made her birdhouses so think about documenting those type of photos how many of us have pictures where we have our kids or grandkids making birdhouses. Maybe it's just me, but I thought that that would be a fun to document those. Now the eggs I think are so pretty. You get one thin cut because it coordinates with all the shapes and I do have some more cards featuring those. So obviously <clears throat> we've already looked at these. Now here I want to point out I've just stamped those on cardstock. Super fast way to create those eggs. I've used the same color ink, so that's glacier ink on glacier paper and flamingo ink on flamingo paper and I've inked up the edges to give them some shadowing. Or you can get really creative and color these in and I even added a tiny little um, liquid pearl to the center there of that one flower, but it's fun to mix and match them. So these are colored with my Spectrum Noir Tri Blends. So stamped on white paper, you do want to use intense black ink if you're coloring with markers. So keep that in mind so that it doesn't bleed when you touch the you know outline with the markers. But I kept that really simple and the Spectrum Noirs have three shades in one. So this is actually from the same marker. That's just the lightest color and then that's the darkest color there. And there's our little cute bunny again, but that's one way I've used uh, this. Actually, it's this one here. I also created these really pretty cards that are simple yet elegant because I've added a lot of detail. So we've got the white space, but there is embossed detail in the background. So this one is Swiss Dot and this one is Little Tiny Daisies. Those are also upcoming in this catalog. I love embossing folders. I just think they add such a statement without a lot of work. So here I have gone with the mix-ins, all of these have the mix-in papers. And I colored this one with the more lavender tones, sending joyful Easter wishes. So you could do, you know, there, that's this one here and I love the scripting writing. Here you have, have an excellent Easter that you would maybe stamp underneath. Um, your extra, extra special, and I have a card to show you where I've used that also. And happiness blooms from within. I think those are really sweet, but yeah, simple card. And I actually used scraps behind this. There's not, it doesn't go all the way across. So you could really piece these cards together and utilize those little tiny leftover bits. And I did pop the egg up, well, not on foam tape, but I die cut extra cardstock to give that just a little bit of dimension. Here I've used some sequins and here I've done the exact same placement, but gone with those uh, enamel dots from the springtime Honey Bunny collection. Here is a card where I've also done the eggs and then back to the print and cut images from the Honey Bunny uh, collection. But I wanted to show you that you're extra special. I think that's a really cute little punny phrase there. And another way that I have incorporated that onto the card and the little eggs there. 
We have more fun stamps to check out. This is called Happy Snail Trail, and I feel like it's really whimsical and kind of cutesy and fun. It's like little doodles, especially these little mushrooms in the rainbow, little doodle drawings. You can see how they've used them here and a little collage on this card and also here. And then this one is called Heartfelt Flowers, and I think this would be really nice. You've got thank you sentiments or even like, you know, thinking of you, you were in my prayers. But this little vase full of flowers makes quite a statement. That's an A2 card size. You can see it really fills up a lot of the front. So that's kind of a quick card, which is nice sometimes when you're in a hurry. And they've done a little ink blending on the background, then stamped and die cut this out. And it does look like they've colored those with colored pencils. The vase is pattern paper. So maybe they've done some paper piercing there. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but that's really cute. Oh yeah, because there's the paper. So they've definitely used that paper to do, uh, color in the vase. So I like those. Fun little, you know, look at the, the flowers, the individual flowers they've tucked in around the circle there. That's a good idea. Now these are like little sign language or just little um, uh, line drawings here. This is called Hand Heart Stamp Set and then Holding Pinkies. And it says my other half. This is I love you together. That one's called Hand in Hand and then Always in My Heart, Baby's Grip Stamp Set. You can see how they have used them on cards, but you could also put those on layouts. And then this one I'm excited about these stamps because they're like um, scrapbooking sentiments and I'm super excited. They had something, a different set of sentiments in the last catalog and I've already been using it a lot. So they're great sentiments that you can add to your layouts. These are six by eight, so keep that in mind when you're looking at the sizes here, but they've used it for a title, but also subtitles. And then the word sentiment strips I'm always going on about. So captured, my cutie together, remember hello, everyday happiness, the life, love, and then, yeah, but any of these, love those smiles, family time, laughter is the best medicine, this is the best life, right? Those can go on so many different memories. So this is a set of die cuts I'm really excited about. Let me grab them. These are going to go on my magnet board where they'll be in easy reach because these are die cuts that I'm going to use quite a bit. Um, we've got hearts. Now they have dotted detail around the outside. So these are stitching detail, the arrows and the, these, uh, but the rest of them, well, these are stitching and I like how there's two different sizes, great for layering, but the dotted detail on the heart and the circle is really cool. So yeah, just great shapes that work for um, all sorts of different themes and everyday type layouts. So I showed you on those cards, let me grab those, um, partial die cutting, where are they? They're buried. Just bring in my card pile here. Um, this one, and then what else did I use it on? This one. So this is this medium size one with a little banner tail. And it is, you know, obviously this length. I've cut that one exactly. But for this one, I wanted it to accommodate a larger sentiment. So it's the same little you know, size width wise or height wise, but just by hanging the edge off of your die cutting plates, you can make that longer. And I've shown how to do that here on my channel with tags, but just keep that in mind. If you want to go with a longer sentiment, you can do that with shapes like this very easily. So I've also used the arrow on a couple different projects already. Um, and yeah, I'm excited to try this. Here they have them on this layout. And I think that's really cute uh, just to add some background interest. And I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of fun things coming out with this uh, shape also. So those are cute. There's the flower that they have incorporated. There's the arrows you can see. And then the little uh, stitching detail on those banner tails there. So more umbrellas. There's a lot of umbrellas coming out uh, in this catalog. But and then the rubber boots. So you might be trying to decide, well, you know, these, there's the other boots that, uh, you know, we showed or I showed from that other stamp set, but these are bigger. So let me get them out for a comparison. So I did decide to get these. And if you look, they look very similar, but when you flip them over, this is quite a bit larger. So while they still have them fit on a card size, um, 
The larger size may suit itself well to, or better, to a scrapbook layout. Um, you can see they've done that here. So, you know, you think about scale with products like this. If you are strictly a card maker, maybe you just want this one. But if you're a scrapbooker, uh, the larger size is really nice to have. And I love that the thin cut cuts out the center of the boots. That's really nice. I like that extra little detail. So here you've got the bouquet of flowers uh, that they have shown in, you know, a cluster here, or you can put them in the umbrella or the boots. So I really like that, how you've got so many different options and that it's scaled nicely for a scrapbook layout. So that's kind of why I'm like, okay, you know, do I need another umbrella and pair of boots? Yes. The answer was yes, I do, right? <laughs> Needs a relative term. But I wanted to show you the difference in the sizes to maybe, you know, if you're kind of debating between those two stamp sets that might help you decide. There are the embossing folders. Now these are square. So when you look at those cards I created, the embossing folders didn't quite reach an entire A2 card size panel, but I strategically designed these cards to where you would never know. I did the top half and then the bottom half. Here comes Dave, here he comes. Hi Dave, he's coming through to say hi. And okay, well, maybe we'll we'll let him chill there for a bit while we look at him since he's not laying on the paper but let me grab those real quick we'll take a look at the floral one so this one's called bitty flowers and i wanted to show you they're square so you can see like if you were trying to do a whole panel at once you can't do that but they're very easy to kind of line up so even if you didn't want to have a piece of paper you can you, you can get away with it um, to where the transition's hardly noticeable but I think these are so cute and you can get them with a stencil so you'll see here they've actually done that with the boots those are stenciled with the dot stencil and it's nice to have the options so you can emboss them them and leave them just you know plain white like I've done here or you could add that stencil layering right over the top and add some color to that so it's texture and it's um, color so and when you emboss it first it makes it easy to line up because they kind of lock onto those raised surfaces so I love embossing folders and stencils and the different looks you can get from them so there's the Swiss dot the bitty flowers and there's also a stripe one um, which we'll be getting to soon now this one here this fishing one I'm super excited about but before we get there there's a little uh like kind of St. Patrick's Day inspired one. It's called Pot of Gold and that's cute. You are my lucky charm, wishing you a pot of gold, lucky to know you. I like the little coin with the four leaf clover and then you have your pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. If you have graduating students, this is nice uh, for cards and scrapbook layouts. This little row of hats would be really nice across like, uh, you know, a scrapbook page. And I thought that that was neat. And I like how you have it in the, the gown here to our grad. Um, or you could just use the hat again as an embellishment for layouts. This one here is called Hooked on Fishing. I love how they've used it and I have the perfect photos. So I'm going to be using this in an upcoming video and I'm excited about it. And there's that map paper from the travel collection. So it does work really well for outdoor type layouts also. And you'll see I'm going to be documenting some Alaska memories using that map paper. But here you can see uh, the different stamp sets, some examples they've used. And I love the little St. Patrick's Day one. I think that's really cute. Are you comfortable, Dave? Hmm? We don't want to disturb you. Here are some examples from featuring this stamp set here. And these are six by six pages. You have probably seen me use these before. And they are like paperboard shapes and in different colors. So you can just easily stamp on them and they have a little bit of thickness to them, but not much. It just is a little dimension without being too much in your albums. This one here is called One Fine Day and it has some nice Mother's Day uh, sentiments and St. Patrick's Day. So a lot of different ones. Yay for spring. Those are some sentiments I used on my different cards here. That's this one here, yay for spring. 
I love you, rain or shine, happy together. There's happy Mother's Day, best mom ever or best mum ever. One fine spring day, Easter Sunday, enjoy the journey. Happy St. Patrick's Day, congrats grad. You are sunshine on a rainy day, you're my lucky charm, so proud of you. So that would go along with the graduation one nicely. This way to the bunny trail, congratulations and happy Easter. So just a really nice, well-rounded uh, collection of sentiments for this time of the year. And I think that that would be a nice stamp. Also ones that I would put on my um, scrapbook layouts, like happy together. Um, and then you are sunshine on a rainy day, yay for spring. Super cute. So you can see they've used them for titles here featuring these. Uh, they're designed to fit and coordinate with those items. Now this alphabet thin cut I did show in my uh, Devil's Tower layout and if you watch that video I kind of showed how it has an outline. I did not go with the outline, I just went with the inner portion. But it cuts the outline also. So you can see it there, they've used the inside and then they've done the love in the outside and this is the striped embossing folder and stencil and they've used it on these to add some texture to that title and they've offset it. So they've cut it in two different colors, probably the back side of the cardstock which is darker and then you have the true color and then um, offset them to give that cool shadow effect and added texture. So just, you know, combining those little techniques really makes a nice impact on that title and gives it a ton of character. So here they've used just the inner portion for a thank you card. It's well suited to a slimline card. Again, you've got the outline and then the textured inside. And then here you can see these uh, all at play in one. They've done the outline in a darker color and then use the in inside in a lighter color to really make that pop off the background. And there's another look at that same, you know, zoomed in uh, version here. So that really makes a cool title. I actually really like this layout. There's that map paper again from the travel collection. See all the different ways you can use it. And then the different color uh, paper here. And it looks like they've done the embossing with the striped embossing folder too. This is a card pattern I've actually created before and I really like it, uh, this one here, because you can do a lot of fun different things with that card pattern. So that's a nice little idea. Now I always kind of predict what's going to sell out and I think this is an obvious one and there'll be no arguments from anyone that this is going to be the number one hot ticket item. It actually already sold out in the maker preview period. If you are unaware as a close to my heart maker, you have the ability to order one month before the products go live. And it was already super popular in the maker uh, preview period and sold out, but more is coming. Uh, so don't worry, you have a number set, you've got the outline set or alphabet set, or you can get them as a bundle item together. And I just think it's going to be a really great universal, uh, you know, type of item that would be a classic never go out of style type of product. I'm going to measure these really quick because I know someone will want to know how tall they are. So that is just shy of an inch. Um, but with the outline, I bet you it would be around an inch with the outline. So if that gives you an idea, I think that it's small enough to where you can get big, you know, longer words onto your scrapbook layouts, but, uh, you know, big enough to be a great title presence, but not so big that you're limited to how many words can fit or how many letters can fit across your page there. So moving on, we have our stamps of the month. These guys are, they're adorable. All of them are adorable. So for March, this is the featured stamp of the month. It's called Just Chicken In. And I didn't get to creating with this one quite yet, but I will because I've got some fun ideas. And then for April, you have little hedgehog stamp. And I just think they're adorable. Do I need a hedgehog in my life? Maybe not but there's going to be a hedgehog in my life <laughs> come April. So cute. So the stamp of the month is uh, only available during that specified month. So you can only get this in March. If you're a VIP with your qualifying order, you can get the stamp set for free. If you're not a VIP, you can get it for $5. They do both have thin cuts, but the thin cuts are uh, additional. So, but they're still a really great value. Um, but just, yeah, something to look forward to for the month of March and the month of April. And I just, these guys are going to be cute on a springtime page too. And I just, again, I think these guys are adorable.
On the last page here, you have a look at all of the cardstock colors, which is also the ink colors and re-inkers. And I do want to point out, uh, Dave's stretching on us there, that you can <laughs> customize your cardstock packs and get just the colors that you like. So you could get 24 sheets of one color, or you can get a custom pack of 12 sheets or 24 sheets and pick your colors, which I just think is awesome. And I wish, um, you know, back in the day, you'd have to buy 24 of one color so if it wasn't a color I used a lot of I still have a lot left over so being able to customize it is nice and of course too keep in mind that with the collections they also have coordinating cardstock packs that are designed to go along with those collections so that's another way you can just get coordinating colors um, but yeah just keep in mind of the customization you can do with your cardstock which is just really really nice so Dave and I would like to know what your here Dave come in here and be sociable let's see your cute little face there he is. <laughs> what is your favorite product? What are you most excited about in this catalog and stamp sets or which collection? I love them both, but yes, very excited about the travel collection. So stay tuned for layouts featuring all of these products very soon. Thanks so much for spending time with Dave and I today. And I uh, look forward to uh, seeing you in the next YouTube video. Bye.